bone, got a couple cracks on it. Oh well, big boy on the retina. People showing tell something spicy in my drink. Do my dance like turning tag with a waist that ush. Make a boy act up. What is up, beautiful people? Welcome once again to HN Clothing. Welcome to another wonderful video. At the end of this video, you should be able to make this beautiful mermaid dress, okay? So, this is a very unique style, uh-huh. And then, quick backstory to this mermaid of a thing, okay? Why is it even called mermaid? I'm sure it's because of the hourglass shape. Don't worry, I'm going to show you how to do that. I even remember when I first attempted this, it was a disaster. So, <laughs> I hope, I hope that you enjoyed this one. And you pick up or you learn one or two new tricks, tips, techniques in achieving a snatched hourglass mermaid look. Okay, so yeah, that's about it. Oh, let me tell you what it entails. We're going to be doing the arm hold that. See, this arm hold that is not the one that you have. Oof, 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 yeah, no. We're going to eliminate that rubbish that's always there. And then um, the bottom part has the hourglass shape okay um it has the high neck collar it has the bishop sleeve it's just it's just a very sweet and again guys if you see the lace we are using it is a magnificent oh let me show you quickly see guys as i was just cutting it my hand was like it was almost <laughs> it's not a small something okay and then i didn't even know what the name of this lace was thankfully my assistant was and she told me that it was um i mean it is what they came from this lace sequence lace <laughs> all right guys so please let us begin enough rambling i hope your pattern is ready i hope you have all your drafting tools just follow the technique and yeah let's dive right into it first things first on your front pattern measure the half length of the bodies the half length of the bodies we're working with is 16 inches so i'll mark that point on the basic bodies pattern we'll focus on this for this we need to work on the armhole princess that okay for the armhole princess that starts from the armhole and measure the midpoint i'll use here as my midpoint there take um, your French curve and then rule next I'll come back to that armhole and just measure half an inch okay I'm going to deduct half an inch from there why do you do that most times when you sew armhole printers that and you do not remove the excess there you see that the bodies will have this puffy puffy nature day to just stand now when you look at this matching up the lines together you can see that it doesn't meet please you have to put paper here and retrace it so that it meets up okay finally we are going to work on the neckline that's the this is a neck that has a collar for the front i'll just do two inches deep and three inches wide so this is all we need for the front just do and I'm hoping says that and draw the neckline high enough to accommodate the color. Let's work on the bottom part of this dress. All right, guys. So for the bottom part of the dress, what I did was I extended it to the gown length. So if we look at this, we already cut 16 inches away. You need to put your measuring tape from here, 16 inches, and measure till the gown length you're working with and the gown length i'm working with is 60 inches another thing you want to do is measure your knee shaping i'm going to use 35 inches for where 
the knee so because the knee shaping is usually like three inches above the knee so i'll just use 35 inches in this case great so since this is a mermaid gown we want that shaping we want it to be like an hourglass figure so on this knee we're going to remove from it i will just remove one inch such that it holds the body well I will connect the one inch to that hip line there. Next is I'm gonna add paper cause I want the bottom part to flare out. She does flare out about, um, about six inches is fine. So I'll just put paper. Okay, after doing the shaping and everything, before we cut or fold, we need to remove this dart here. Measure out the size of the dart. I have about one and a half inches. I will remove it from the side here. So this is what we'll be having for the front let's move over to the back all right guys so first things first for the back make sure you do your half length again i measured the same 16 inches i did for the front i'll cut that part away now we want to also do the same i'm hoping says that so i'll get my french curve on the mid armhole which is about here for me i'll connect so once we've done that the next thing is to do the neck so for the neckline for the back we're going to measure three inches wide and then one inch deep so this is what we're going to be having for the back let's go to the bottom part first thing extend the length all right so first things first we need to remove the darts here measure what you have here i have about half an inch i'll remove the half inch from the side seam I'll connect that half inch into the hip line there, just stop there. And then the next thing is to do your tightening on the knee shaping. So you want to measure, place your measuring tape 16 inches and then measure to where your knee shaping line will be, which is 35 inches. I'm using 35 inches. Okay. so. I'm going to be shaping both on the side and directly on that the bum area. Okay, I'll shape these two sides. I'll do one inch here. So I'll be connecting from this point to this point. I'll remove one inch. And here I can also do one inch. Let's put paper. That's um the flaring out, the mermaid part. Let's put paper and increase it. <laughs> So I'm going to still use the same 6 inches I used for the front. For this part we're going to use you can use eight inches for the back that's if you have enough fabric let's start cutting everything on the fabric all right guys so at this stage we have cut the main fabric and then the lining piece Quickly, uh, a side note, because we're working with lace that is see-through, we need to include an underlay for the fabric. So 
you're going to cut the lace first you're going to cut the underlay and then you're going to cut the main lining okay so this is what um the front is i haven't gone ahead i've gone ahead to just baste it on the side right so that this is now like a fabric and it's not transparent i hope you get it so let me ex let me show you something else for instance this one cut the lace first cut the lining and then there was even a um, wording attached to it okay so it's many many pieces together for the front i would love this to go low i wouldn't get make the lining get to the very neck should just be low that way attach this attach this that will make up the front of which you see that it is bare so you can't leave it this way you now need to have your lining right that will cover the inside okay so i hope you get the gist working with laces is another ball game entirely if you want me to um do a dedicated video to just working with laces please leave in the comment section below i will then know that oh we want that and i'll make it available to us but for now i'll just go over to continue joining the pieces together and coming on here to explain each step as i go along all right guys so far so good we have sewn um this up we've assembled it so what i'm going to be doing for the assembling is um separate so let me let me take the pieces step by step so before you go any further it'll be advisable to um notch here so that you can give it a very good press and it stands and looks pecky and beautiful so that your front is ready to go okay in this case your front is ready to go I have this beautifully done let me show you the back for the back I'm actually trying to create a bustier effect for the underlay fabric whichever case works for you can do that to cover up everywhere so this is what I'll be having right so you join sew the seams and there you have it next for me for this back to conclude the back completely is to insert the zipper i'm going to be using other zipper allowance we already have the zipper allowance for the back so i'm going to do that and then we then have the main lining i made the lining shorter than what it is originally so that it's not so long and heavy and weighty and just voluminous so this is the lining part it has been sewn that's the side front and the center front has been joined the bottom part has been joined on the waist same with the back pieces this way has been joined so it's just ready for us to assemble up all the parts please if you have any question at this point like you do not understand what went on you need further clarification please ask below or if you want me to do a very detailed tutorial on working with laces write it down in the comments below let us move on i want to install the zip and then we move on Hey, I think you're pretty bone Got a couple cracks on it Oh, well, pretty boy on the retina People show and tell Something spicy in my drink Do my dance like turning tag With a waist that I should make a boy act dumb She know she hot She know she pretty She said for wet The steam is all dizzy I feel I feel petty I feel gross, I feel messy Oh my God, oh no, no Now he 
All right, guys. So um, this is a new day, a fresh day, and we have been able to complete this part. We just want to go over to the sleeve. The bodies is ready. Let me show you the back. Pretty much ready as well. Okay. So we're just going to work on the sleeve area and the collar and wrap this up. So stay tuned. All right, guys. So let's quickly create the sleeve. This is our long sleeve pattern. You want to know where your elbow is. So you're going to measure from the top of the sleeve. That is the sleeve cap measure to where your elbow length is going to stop so the elbow length in this case is actually 10 and a half inches i'll use 10 inches because i want the elbow i want the fullness to come up above the elbow okay so from here to 10 and a half is going to be fitted on the sleeve then from this place here up onto the bottom it's going to be full like there'll be fullness there so what i'm going to do now it's just slash through the middle and spread, okay? Great, so we're going to spread it this way. I hope you get the juice. So once you spread it like this, there's going to be fullness here for that sleeve, for you to achieve the sleeve. Hey, I think you're pretty.